sure we've got everything. Well, I'm gonna check twice. We'll check three times. Eh? Waistcoats! Yeah. Oh. Top hat, the top hat! Sorry. Morning, lads. All right, Jack. All ready? Buttonholes. I've got the flowers here. Courtesy of Steph's delegation. Brilliant. Cheers. Don't worry, Marlon. I'm sure nothing's gonna go wrong. Come on, then. Good luck. Cheers, Jack. See you later. Uh, curse is clear, is it? Yeah, cottage is all yours. You went, I'll tell the girl. Looks like Marlon might explode before the service. <laughs> well, we've all been there. It's a big day. Yeah, I was thinking the same yesterday, but for a different reason. Oh, why was that? Oh, I was having a bit of a clear out, and I came across a photograph taken at my dad's funeral. Do you know, it was nearly 30 years to the day. The only reason I came back was to bury him. Didn't expect to stay. Well, a lot of people around here are very glad that you did. I thought I'd wash the air here. Save a bit of time. Mum? What? Me air. What about you air? You are right? Oh, yeah, of course I am. Oh, Mum. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just being silly. No, you're not. It's what mums are supposed to do when their daughters get married. It's just I feel I've found something special and now I'm going to lose it. No, you're not. It's just the <laughs> beginning for you and me. I mean, last night was brilliant, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. I will have loads more times like that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I came over all soppy, that's all. Oh, that's a lot. That's what I told her. <laughs> Morning. You can put that bag out for a start. I'm not walking down that aisle smelling like an ashtray. <laughs> all right. You're right then. Yeah. What is it they say? I'm not losing a daughter. I'm gaining a son-in-law. Oh, and talking of Marlon, he's safely out of the way. Right. <laughs> what are we waiting for then? Should we start getting changed then? You've got ages yet. Just relax, will you? Hey. Huh? Take some deep breaths. Deep. Some deep breaths. Coffee. Coffee. Have <laughs> some more. Just tranquilise you if you want. Some. Deep breaths. What's the matter with you? I need the loo. Oh! Go on. You're right, stay him, you know. He's not the only one. You look terrible. I didn't think I'd drunk that much. Listen. You said you spoke to Steph last night. Did I? Yeah. You didn't speak to anybody else, did you? Like Trisha? About the Steph Marlon snogging? No. No, I remember it was just Steph. I was cross with her, and then I was sick. Thank goodness. Not the, I don't mean thank, not the sick bit. No, you're right. It's a good job I was, because I don't know what I might have said to her. Better of this. Oh, I think I need to lie down. Oh, is there anything else I can do? Not unless you're any good at putting rollers in. Oh, that's not really an issue with me. <laughs> you leave us girls to it, then. I'll see you later, Grandad. You do know you're making me very happy today, don't you? Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> but if you're worried that Emily's blabbed about the snob, you don't have to because she didn't. Well, it's not that, it's not that. I'm just wondering what else is going to go wrong. Nothing. You know what kind of week we've had? It's like somebody's trying to tell us something. There's been one disaster after another. Yeah, I know, mate, and you've got through them all. If I can get Trish to the church, I, I can deal with anything, but I've got to get her there. And you will. I'm not so sure. What are you saying that for? It's Steph. I've just told you that nothing was said. She came to see me last night on her way home from the end party. She kind of told me she loved me and she said kissing me had made her realise her true feelings for me. I mean, <laughs> well, she'll have been drunk. She said she wanted me to ditch Trisha and spend the rest of my life with her. She what? Well, how, can, how can she say that? What, uh, and last night of all nights? Because she's from the planet me, me, me. Because she thinks I mean, I'm Adonis reborn. <laughs> because she's so far out of a flaming tree, she's halfway to Lancashire. No, I'm sorry, mate. Flirting's one thing, but that's, that's out of order. I just want to marry Trisha and live happily ever after. And I want to do it without a mother hanging over us like some toxic vapour. That's not unreasonable, is it? No. She's with Trisha now. She could be saying anything. She could say I came on to her. She could be saying I'm the love of her life. She could ruin everything. It could have been you and Ray getting wed. Don't remind me. 
So a point? Yeah, well, I don't think he was too thrilled when I turned him down. Why, what's he said? Oh, not much, you know. I don't want to bring it up in case I make too big a deal out of it. Sounds like it's caused a few problems. Well, maybe I'm overreacting. I mean, if he's that bothered, I suppose he'll talk to me when he's ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we are. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Who the heck are Henry and Fiona? Huh? Wealthy thrill of the purses. You nicked it. That looks perfect. <laughs> oh, but time our Sam's finished. You won't know if they existed. How are you getting on? <laughs> hey, well, you, you've got to admit it. Uh, it makes a grand piece de resistance. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would do if half the balloons weren't burst. Oh, Danny's got that in on. Yeah, well, someone could help us. Uh, <laughs> just stop mourning. You know, Trish is very special to me. I want this place to look like a fairy tale palace, not a dodgy car boat sale. Ooh. Hey, don't forget who she's marrying. A dingle. Yeah, a weird one. Yeah, but a dingle all the same. <laughs> and we always do right by our own. <laughs> what are you doing? It's got lovely legs, you know, Marlon. They're really long. <laughs> Never a guest. His back's long and all. I like to run my fingers down, it makes him giggle. <laughs> <laughs> Take over, will you, Letitia? Yeah, OK. So. In fact, he's perfect, really. I can't think of one thing wrong with him. <laughs> she told Marlon she loved him. And he's worried she might say something in ruin the wedding. Oh. Yeah, so we've got to make sure she keeps her mouth shut. How are we going to do that? I've no idea, we'll think of something. And when we got together, I knew we were right for each other. I mean, I've had loads of blokes, and I'm not saying he's the best looking or anything, but there's just something special about him. Something noble. Like a prince. Oh, give it a rest. I'm sure Letitia doesn't want to listen to all this. Oh, no, I don't mind. And I know today hasn't worked out exactly how we planned it. Neither did the engagement party. Or anything else, really. But I don't care. <laughs> or at least he loves you and he wants to marry her. I mean, I can't see Kane doing that, can you? Oh, you wouldn't want to marry him, would you? No, well, of course I wouldn't. Oh, you'll meet someone. And it'll happen when you least expect it. Isn't that right, Mum? You don't my advice on fellas, though. I'm the world champion on picking the wrong ones. But, I mean, we'd all like the door to open and Mr Right to walk in, but it just don't work like that. Anyone need a best man? No, no, no. What's up? Nothing. What's going on? It's nothing. I think something fell in your hair. What? What, what, what is it? <gasps> you silly man! It was an accident. Oh, well, you shouldn't have been chewing in the first place. It's not your chewing gum. You silly cow, get it out! Get Don't. it out! Don't! You'll make it worse. Well, do something then! I can't just yank it out. It'll come out easy enough, won't it? Oh, no, it won't. What? Well, it's got to. It's got to come out. Don't panic. I'll sort it. I'm nearly there, love. Yeah, the gum's gone nice and hard. I should be able to lift it out. Oh, God. Have you done this before? It works well on carpets. This is my hair we're talking about, not a piece of old shag pile. Oh, it's no good. It won't come. If I pull any harder, I'll scalp you. I could be in church in an hour. I knew this old lady once in Dawson who swore by brown paper and a hot iron. You're not ironing me yet. You don't do that. Well... I don't think so. Oh, Mum, please! I'm just going to have to cut it out. You can't do that. I'll look like a monk. I'll be careful, I promise. Oh. Oh. Right. I thought you were keeping an eye on things. Well, we're just in the way, really. There's a bit of a crisis. I knew she's told Trish I'll kill her. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's Trish's hair. It's a technical thing. It's nothing to worry about. Steph hasn't said a word about you and her. She could be doing it this very minute, Emily. Well, I doubt it. She's just... She's probably too busy. I'm going to see for myself. Don't do that. It's not a very good idea, is it? You don't... You don't know like I know. She'll do anything to get her own way. I'm going back inside. I'm supposed to be getting my head on as well. Good idea. I mean, you'll go and get changed and then we'll go and have a pint and settle you down, all right? You can rely on me, Marlon. Yeah, and you know that. Anyway, come on. Hi, Em. 
How are you feeling? All right. I felt rough this morning. Mm, I'm not surprised you were off your face last night. I don't understand why, because I didn't think I'd had that much. Well, uh, you might have had a few more shots of vodka than you thought. You spiked me drinks? Well, it's what you do on her nights, isn't it? It was laugh. I don't think that's very funny. I, I could have been so ill I couldn't have got up this morning. But you weren't. I've got a lot of responsibility today, and, well, things are difficult enough without some so-called friend trying to stab me in the back. Oh, come on, Em. I didn't mean any harm. I'm sorry. Em! Gotcha. Ooh. Does it look all right? Uh, we're getting there. Ooh. Can I have a look? No, no, it just needs a, um, a bit of, uh, well, tidying up. Why don't you try a bit of lacquer? What for? What is it? What's the matter? You've ruined it, haven't now, you? Keep calm, sweetheart. Oh, I want a mirror. Someone get me a mirror. I want to have a look. Give me a mirror. No. I want a mirror. Come on, Trisha. Ah! What is it? I can't move my head. Whew. Well, you must admit, it looks pretty flaming spectacular. It's not bad. It shows what can be done when everyone pulls together. Exactly. If it hadn't have been OK, you'd have been barred for life. Yeah, give over. What, I'll give up on your pension fund? <laughs> uh, I'd say it looks good enough for a free pint. I'm gagging. Uh, me and all. No, I know you're upset about Ashley, but... Uh, well, uh, he had a bit of an adventure. Met ever Chastity, brightened up his humdrum existence. <laughs> yeah, he'll be togged up in his frock waiting to do the honours. So, I mean, where's the arm? Hmm? Oh, go on, then. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on you. You can't go to a good wedding without a bit of a wet. It wouldn't be right. Oh, well, you better make that a couple more. A couple of penguins just walked in. Oh, Marlon, oh, you look a picture. Oh, hey, feast your eyes on this lot. Have we or have we not done you proud? Huh? Yeah, it looks great. And there's loads of sarnies, ham, cheese, tuna. Yeah. Hey, and Kate looks brilliant. Trisha's gonna love it. Yeah. Get that down, you son. Oh, cheers. How are you feeling? Mm. How do you think? He's about to chuck his life away. Hey, you! Shut it! Well, don't you read the papers? One in three marriages ending divorce. Oh. I'm rising. I don't think he wants to hear that at this minute. Of course he doesn't! You need two or three more of them. <laughs> Anaesthetise yourself. Oh. It's good for the nerves. He's getting wed, not having a operation. Oh, Never. yeah, I know which I'd prefer. Mm. Marlon, can you come? What's the matter? It's Trisha. She wants to see you. No, you stay where you are, lad. Hey, enjoy your last few moments of freedom. No, I really, really think you should come now. Oh, no, Paddy, it's happened, it's happened. I'll go in. Oh. Is everything going to be all right? Of course it is. Oh. Yeah, she'll be making a fuss over and out. Young uns, eh? <laughs> oh, you, you told to... her, haven't you? You told her about us. No. Marlon! I'll get you for this. <laughs> what? I can't move me head, Marlon. Look. The, the, the collar's mine. Emily found. I thought it might help. You yeah. have. It. It was a bit of chewing. What's she done? Oh no, no, she did her best, but the ice didn't work, and I couldn't stand the thought of having an iron on me head. What? What am I going to do, Marlon? No, no, it's, oh, don't, don't worry. Everything's going to. We'll sort something out. What with Paddy? Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but, but the ceremony is in, in, in forty minutes. Can somebody tell me, please? What have we done to deserve this? All we want to do is get married and everything's gone wrong. Everything's... It's not fair. No, it isn't. But I mean it and I'll take care of you. Ow! Oh, sorry. sorry. Do, do you think someone ought to tell Ashley? Uh, yeah, yes, Alan. Uh, tell him Tell him there's been a, a bit of an hold up, but we're there as soon as we can. Do you want me to stay, darling? No, she doesn't. Especially not you, not after what you've done. It weren't my fault. You were supposed to be looking after her! Don't shut, Marlon! You're just making it worse! Look, look, come on. I, I think they need some time to themselves. Marlon, me and Emily are lying around if case there's anything. This is supposed to be the happiest day of my life. I know it's not perfect. I know. But it'll be OK. It will. So, come on. You must have heard all the gossip about Charter being in the club. Have you started hanging out with Betty Eggleton? Oh, you are a mate. And you do live at home farm. So? Well, is it true? Oh. Huh? Just come on, dear. All right. Hi. Fancy a bit of company? 
Right, you, you mean? Yeah. You sit in the back row, hold hands. It's not got all the romantic bits. <laughs> Why do I bother with you? Charity is not pregnant, all right. Well, where have all the rumours come from then, huh? No, my saddle's like you. Oh, Chloe, love. Is your uh, friend Charity not coming to a wedding then? No. Oh, I thought she would with Marlon being family like. Is she um, not so very well? She's fine. Oh. <laughs> hey, babe. Babe. Did you hear that? What? Charity Dingle's pregnant. That's why she's not coming to a wedding. Did Chloe tell you that? Hey, that'll be why she's dropped out at calendar and all. I wouldn't have thought Chris Tate had it in him. Oh, well, perhaps he hasn't. You see, Charity Dingle's got that many notches on her bedpost. It's a wonder it doesn't collapse. <laughs> Morning, Vicar. I can't go through with it, not looking like this. Of course you can. No, I can't. It doesn't matter to me what you look like. No, it does to me. In sickness and health, for better or worse. Everything's gone wrong, Marlon. You said so yourself. It's been going wrong for ages. That doesn't mean we can't go ahead with it. We love each other. That's all that counts. We should have called it off weeks ago. No, please don't say that. Well, it's true. Remember what we planned and look at what we've got. We can't even afford a honeymoon. We'll have one later. I want to jet off tomorrow, somewhere exotic. That'd be reasonable. And what about the reception? Well, everybody's been working really hard at the pub. What does it look like? It's OK. I mean, it looks rubbish. No. We're supposed to have smoked salmon, canapes, champagne. Well, everybody's done the best. This is supposed to be my special day, Marlon. I've dreamt about it since I was a kid. I'm supposed to look like a princess, not a freak. Tricia. I don't think you're being a tad selfish. You what? You're thinking about yourself. What about what I want? What my feelings? Don't you care about me being a laughing stock? I want to marry you. Well, you can't. Not today, all right? Alan, I was beginning to get a bit worried. Where's Trisha? Shouldn't she be with you? Uh, th th there's been a bit of a hitch. What do you mean? While well, she was getting ready. I don't understand. Marlon says they'll be here as soon as they can. It, it might mean a slightly late start. Oh, well, won't be for the first time. I'll go and tell Seth he'll have to keep playing for a bit longer. Do you think they'll make it? Oh, yes. You see, it's, it's just a delay. It's not as if you're laid up in bed, you can walk and talk. So? So you can make it to the flipping church and say, I do. No. But the old village has rallied round, Trish. People have been really helpful. Well, they can't fix me neck. We, we, we can't just chuck it all back in the faces. You'll have to make a decision soon. Ashley will be wondering where we are. Trisha, everyone will understand. They don't care what you look like any more than we do. Paddy's right. So you care about what other people think more than me? Yeah, no, that, that's not what we're saying. Well, if you're that bothered about letting people down, why don't you and Emily take our place? Then everyone would be happy, wouldn't they? Apart from me, but no one seems to care what I feel. Don't be so ridiculous. That's a stupid thing to say, isn't it, Paddy? Paddy and Marlon would have been in here by now. Yes, so would I. People are wondering what's going on, and frankly, so am I. Do you think it would help if I made a little announcement? Feel free. Right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention for a moment? Uh, it looks as if we shall be running a few minutes late. Uh, there was a bit of an accident this morning. Nothing serious, uh, but it could delay things. So um, please be patient with us. Thank you. A bit of an accident. Trisha's probably found out she's pregnant, like Charity Tate. Vivian, it's a terrible thing to say. 
Oh, it wouldn't surprise me. Young people these days, they're like beasts of the field. And she's marrying a dingle. Yes, Marlon, one of the nicest blokes in the village. Or perhaps he's reverted to type under pressure. He could have run amok, crazed with alcohol. Him and the rest of his tribe. They're not even here, have you noticed? No. Neither's Diane. There's probably an alcoholic orgy in progress. I do still think about you, you know, sometimes. And it can't be nice for you to have your best mate gossiped about all over the place. It isn't. But there is something going on at home farm, though, isn't there? Look, I'm not crying. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but... Well, if you want to talk about it. Promise you won't tell anyone? I won't, I promise. Charity isn't pregnant. Zoe is. Well, I don't know. I, well, what do you think? You can't. Have you changed your mind? It's supposed to be my day, not yours. Oh. I've been looking forward to it for ages. But you made it crystal clear you have absolutely no intention of getting married today. I mean, you can think about it if you want to. Everybody in the church is our friends as well, and we were going to get married anyway. The bands have been read. Trish, it makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't care. Do what you like. Should I go after her? Uh, <coughs> no. Best leave her alone, I think. So what, what do you think? I don't want to do anything to upset Trisha. You heard her, Emily. She can't go through with it. Are you sure she won't change her mind? It's not going to happen today. I know when I'm beaten. It wasn't meant to be. There must be something we've not thought of. Best man. Marlon. <laughs> Why not? Right, well, well, let's go for it then. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna marry me? I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> Church by now, Emily. That's what I want to talk to you about. What's huh? going on? I just need a word with Zach. We'll make sure he gets to church. <laughs> Are you coming or not? Well, you go on. I'll see you there. What's going on? There's been a change of plan. I'm marrying Paddy. You what? Will you give me away? Is this a wind-up? I wouldn't joke about something like this. What? You mean like a double wedding? You... You and Paddy and Marlon and Trisha? Instead of. Don't be so daft, you can't do that. Trisha won't, so we will. Give over. And I couldn't think of anyone I'd rather walk down the aisle with than you. You're serious, aren't you? It's a day I've dreamed about. Same as Trisha. Oh, you've not had a change of heart. Cos, well, if you have, you just have to say. No. I can't do it, not looking like this. And you don't want to come and watch? Cos, well, you could sit at back. No. Right, let's be off, Emily. I'm sorry about earlier, when Paddy said you and him were going to get married. I was just a bit upset. But I'm really happy for you, honest. I hope it goes really well for you. Thanks. And I'd really like you to wear this. Oh, no, I couldn't. Oh, no, but I'd like you to. Someone offered me their wedding dress to wear once, and I couldn't. Proud butch. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not just that reason. It's, well, it's your dress. It's for your wedding, and, and I'm sure you'll be wearing it one day soon. What if I've driven my on away? Of course you haven't. He loves you. We, uh... Really shouldn't be on our way. Look, I know you don't want the dress, but... 
Will you wear these? Something borrowed? I'd love to, thank you. Good luck. Ta. <laughs> Molly, and you're, you're absolutely sure about this? It makes sense. How do you feel? No, I meant it. I really didn't care what she... Hey! Hold on, it'll happen for you one day. Maybe. You're gonna start having doubts about it. It's hard not to, Paddy. And keep them to yourself, because if Steph finds out you're having second thoughts, she'll think she's in with a chance. She can think what she likes. Oh, thank goodness. I, I think Ashley was almost ready to call the whole thing off. You've managed to calm Trisha down, then? <clears throat> not exactly. Trisha won't be coming. So me and Emily have decided to get married instead. Ah! Get off, please. Are you all right? I'm sorry. It was the shock. Have you decided to call off the engagement? Well, if they've decided it's not a good idea, we should respect that. Is it because of her hair and her neck? Well, it's possibly a different reason altogether. Right, I think we should go inside now. You can tell me all about it in there. Steph, do you mind, can we just, just stay here for a bit, please? Emily needs a bridesmaid and we're just going to have to do, aren't we? Oh, what, what, what about me? Oh, Alan. Emily's already asked sack to give her away. But I want you to stay. Well, we all do. I don't pretend to understand what's going on here. I'll explain later. Come on, mate. And about time too, Marlon Dingle. Keeping people waiting. Am I glad to see you two are just about given up? Ashley, there's something we need to explain. There's no need. You're here now. That's all that matters. I'll go and put Seth on standby. Hang on, there. Eh? Hang on. Hey. You know, I'm, uh, I'm right flattered that you asked me to do this, but... It's a shame your dad couldn't be here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. I think he'd understand, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course he would, yeah. Yeah. Besides, these past few years, you've been as much your dad to me as him, and I'm glad it's you. Give it over. <laughs> I'll, I'll send him all the photos. Ah. <laughs> What's up? It's all happened so quickly, and I've just realised in a few minutes I'm getting married. Well, does that bother you? No. It's marvellous. Oh. Had you said you might be needing a bridesmaid, so here I am. Oh, I, ap I appreciate that, Mrs Stokes, but would you mind going inside and asking Nicola to come out instead of me? And you could leave your flowers if you don't mind. You're welcome to them. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm, I'm not much of a religious man, but sometimes I... I think our butch is still around here somewhere, it, like, in spirit, you know. I'm sure he is. And, well, I know he'd be happy for you. Do you? Aye. He's a sound lad, is Paddy, and, uh, well, I know he'll look after you. And our butch would be glad about that. Thank you. Em? It's true, then. Yeah. Will you be my bridesmaid? Well, you sure, after what you said this morning, I'd... I forgive you. You're my best friend and I want you with me. Thanks, Em. Hey, up. They're playing our tune. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you look lovely. <laughs> Standing the wrong way round, the groom should be standing on this side. No, actually, look, that's what we've been trying to explain. Everybody's staring at me. Hmm? Yep, yeah, it's because you look lovely. It's your day now. Enjoy it. She's done a runner, bumped it first time. 
Bob, look, it's Emily. I can see that, my love. Makes you think of our wedding day, doesn't it? That's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Marrying you. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of... of Emily and Paddy. Welcome to you all. Uh, let us begin with the first hymn... It says the same thing. Yeah, everything's exactly the same. Obviously not exactly, but... Yeah. The first hymn on your sheet, Love Divine, All Love's Excelling. What do you make of that, then? She's a flighty piece. He'll have realised he's better off without her. Repeat after me. I, Emily, take you, Patrick, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day. That I heard of once in a I, Emily, take see Paddy to be my husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death us do part for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health to love and cherish till death do us part according to god's holy law presence of God, I make this vow. According to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. Could I have the rings? Oh, don't, don't look at me. I... Uh, I've got this one. It's yours, if, if that's all right. Yeah. I don't see why not. I've got this one. Oh, no. Here. Use this for now. Thank you. I'll get you your own soon. <laughs> Heavenly Father, by your blessing, may these rings be to Patrick and Emily a symbol of unending love and faithfulness to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Ticket for Romeo and Juliet, you do not expect to see the comedy of errors. Oh, well, you start wetering, woman. Why can't you just be happy for them? Well, I think they make a smashing couple and have all the sex on. Yeah, here he is. Oh, here they are. Oh, congratulations, <laughs> old <you>. Fadu. <laughs> That's it. I can't say I approve of last minute substitutions, but I wish you all the best. So, uh, uh, what, what's this about? Trisha, then, I mean, did she leave a note or did she just clear up? Hey, but you don't even know that she left. I mean, you don't know anything about her, so why don't you just be quiet, eh? Because I'm concerned about Marlon. I mean, that poor lad is the wreck. I'm absolutely thrilled for you, Emily. You looked lovely. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Hall. But what's happened to Trisha? Is it all over between her and Marlon? Has she found somebody else? Oh. Hey, Brad. Chastity. What are you doing here? I hope I'm going to get bladdered. Oh, Zach, you did ever so well in there. I'm right proud of you. Eh, uh, well, I come with thee, I will. <laughs> <laughs> what 
I'm on him with my intrusion. Uh, he's probably what? seen sense and kicks her into touch. Oh. No, no, I think there's a bit more to it than that, son. <laughs> is he still going to be partying? Oh, I hope so. That's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> Don't tell me she backed out at the last minute. Well, kind of, but... He so deserves better than that. Don't you think? Paddy! Oh, Emily! Yeah. I'll tell you in a bit. <laughs> you all right? If I'm only happier, I think I'd float away. <laughs> and you're not going to wake up in the morning and think, oop, stop, I don't. I think I'll have other things on my mind. Come on. Trisha couldn't go through with it then. Strange that, having spent the morning with you. This morning had nothing to do with me. I did my best to get Trisha ready. I swear. And it wasn't easy. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Nothing would stop me. If I had the chance of marrying you, I'd crawl up the aisle if I had to. Very appropriate. You being a snake. Don't be so cruel. I feel cruel. Well, maybe when it came to it, Trisha wasn't that committed to you. But I am. I'd do anything for you. You don't give up, do you? Well, I can't help how I feel. I want you. I love you. <laughs> and, and now that you're not married, well, at least you can think about, you know, us. You sad, deluded old woman. Don't. What can, What sort of mother tries to steal her daughter's bloke the night before they get married? That's not normal. You're sick. And even if you're right about Trisha, even if she doesn't love me enough to marry me, do you really think I'd go anywhere near you? But, but I could make you happy. I know I could. I'd rather pull my fingernails out with a pair of pliers and be with you. In fact, if you were the last one on earth, I'd shoot myself. Bang! Is that absolutely, perfectly clear? want me to be happy. And I am ever so. Sleep tight. You OK? You didn't mind me coming here, did you? Of course not. It's not that I'm obsessed with Butch or, or that I haven't got over him or anything. It's OK. Taught me what it meant to love somebody. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Shh. Quiet! The happy couple are here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, feast your eyes on this lot, Emily Love. Have we or have we not done you proud? It's lovely. <laughs> It's not really us, is it? Eh? Oh, no, no, I don't worry about that. Sam can play that, eh? Never leave that to the Nothing's too much trouble today, Paddy lad. Sam! Diane, <laughs> Eric's latest press release on the landfill issue. Thought you might like to read it. You may not have noticed, but there's a bit of a do going on. Why don't we forget about the campaign for today? But look at all these people, Eric. It's a golden opportunity to spread the word. But they're here to enjoy themselves, and that's exactly what I intend on doing, having some fun with a capital F, like a certain person last night. I intend on getting a little tipsy and nibble your ear, and then I wish to take you home and ravish you. Right, well, if you put it like that... Mm, they say anything about who the father could be. Well, given the fact she's a lesbian, there aren't many obvious candidates. That's what I mean. And it happened five months ago. 
five months. Mm. They're worried she might have been raped. No. Well, she was ill. I mean, she didn't know what she was doing half the time. Hey, Scott. Wow. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Chastity seems to be enjoying herself. But the charity's not here. Oh, there's a very good reason for that. What? She's pregnant. Get away. Mind you, keep it to yourself, though. Oh, don't worry, I will. Having a tear sprogs now to shout you all about. Marla. How are you feeling? Fine, yeah, fine. If you want to go back to Trisha, we don't mind, do we? No, no, you can go on if you want. More than enough, mate. No, it's OK. It's, no, I, I mean, I'm going to do a job. But... I've just thought, speech. I'm supposed to make a speech. I'm, be, I'm best... What am I going to say? You don't have to say much at all. It do not matter. Well, you can use this if you want to. It's, um... I was going to use it for you and Trisha. <laughs> That's not right. You just give it a tweet. No one used to know. <laughs> How was Marlon then? He was best man, he got on with it, you know. Did he say anything about me? He was busy. So you didn't talk to him then? He was a bit wound up. It's my fault. I suppose. After you left, he pleaded with me to marry him. Begged me. He said he didn't care what I looked like. Blokes, they don't understand how a girl feels, do they? Yeah, well, I wouldn't blame him if he didn't want to see me again. You did what you thought was right. Yeah, but I was wrong. He's the best bloke I've ever met. If I've lost him, I don't know what I'll do. In, in about five minutes, our Marlon's going to say a few words. So, if you'd all like to fill your glasses, you know where the bar is. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived here a long time, Jack, like you. And a few years ago, I thought I'd fought all my battles, I'd had my share of love and heartbreak and all that, and I was going to potter gently into old age. And then Trisha turns up. It gives my life a whole new meaning. You just want to see her happy and settled? Well, that's not remotely in my hands. <laughs> you know, if you'd asked me a few years ago what I'd be doing today, I'd have said I'd be married to Sarah, and still farming. If you'd told me I'd be working for Chris Tate, I'd have laughed in your face. <laughs> it seems that all we can expect is the unexpected. Well, it makes life more interesting, I suppose. <laughs> oh, good Lord. I listen to us. We sound just like a couple of old fogies. <laughs> Propping up the bar at the Woolpack, staring into our pints, setting the world to rights. Well, I can't think of worse places to be. Oh, me too, Alan. Me too. <laughs> I booked an holiday in Spain years ago. The day before I was due to leave, I broke my ankle. I had to cancel. I was spitting nails. It turned out the hotel wasn't finished. There was mud in the swimming pool and it rained the whole week. I had a lucky escape. What are you saying? It's a big step, getting married. Yeah, I know. It's horrible when it goes wrong. Well, Mum wasn't going to go wrong. Oh, we all say that. Have you listened to a word I've said? Of course I have. You're saying it's a good job I didn't marry Marlon today, ain't ya? No, all I'm saying is it gives you a bit of breathing space. You can have a rethink, both of you. See if it's what you really want to do. I thought you came here to help me. I did. You're trying to ruin my life again, ain't ya? No! What is it? Don't you think Marlon's good enough for me? I think he's a lovely bloke. I don't believe you. It's true. I think the world of him. Then why don't you want me to marry him? You know how I feel about him. I want the best for you both. I don't believe you. Oh, Trisha, come on. Get off me. Just leave me alone. Ladies and gentlemen, as is customary, it is now my pleasure and privilege to spend a few minutes slagging off my mate, my... Uh, Paddy. <laughs> I've been asking myself for ages, how has he done it? How has such a big, clumsy, daft lump of a bloke managed to persuade such a lovely lass to marry him? He, 
He's not rich. He does have the occasional bulge, but not in his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> He's good with animals. He can roast them, grill them. Oh, sorry, that's, <laughs> that's me. Sorry, Paddy makes them better, the animals. Oh, it's a speech, sorry. I'll tell you how he persuaded her to marry him, I think. She knows he loves her. In fact, he worships her. She drives him mad sometimes. She's, she's quirky, stubborn, infuriating, warm, kind, beautiful. And when he proposed to her, and she said yes, fireworks went off in his head. And the man played, and his knees melted. And he still feels like that every time he looks at her. Cherish. Cherish. It's the best word in the wedding service. And he will. And she'll never have to doubt him, because he'll always love her. Whatever happens. Always. So if you like to raise your glasses, a toast. Paddy and Emily. Paddy and Emily. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, I've done it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I'm going to stick with Emily. Marlon, <laughs> you will still marry me, won't you? I don't think you want me no more. How can you say that? I'm sorry. Don't say sorry. Say yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ow! <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for coming here, even though it's not exactly what you expected. It's not exactly what me and Emily expected either. <laughs> but it is what we want. And we know it's a risk. But then... It always is when you start something new, because you want something to go on and on and on forever, but you, you can't be certain. And you have to work at it. And I think you need love and a little bit of luck. <laughs> and then you can build something really, really special. Something that will go on for years and years. And we will, I will do our best. I promise you. <laughs> the future. The future.